WebSim AI tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at WebSim AI and we are going to be generating our very own website using WebSim AI. So for those of you who didn't know what WebSim AI is, WebSim AI is an AI tool that can help you create websites. And over here, you can see this is how the main website looks like. Their whole UI is basically a website as well. And right here, we can see some of these uh, websites that people have generated. Now, how is this website generated? Over here at the top, you have the search bar, which is like a prompt bar. Over here, you type in the prompts, but before you do that, you have to sign in and to, you know, log in or sign up, you just simply click on the search button or the search bar and it will take you over to sign it with Google as well. And after signing in with your Google account, this is how it will look like. Now you can go ahead and use it, uh, type in different prompts. Over here is the AI that they're using. So right now it is the Sonnet 3.5. Uh, you can go with the GPD 4.0, which is experimental, Haiku, Sonnet 3, or Opus as well. Depends on you. Uh, over here on the left hand side you will see you have your bookmarks and all of your favorite websites that you have generally created uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these websites that you know we have over here and see how they look like so uh, each of these websites have their own you know creator so let's go ahead and check out this one called web crawler so if i click on it it's going to open up right here and i am not sure what type of website this is but uh, i can go ahead and change some of the settings i can change uh, stuff over here so let's go ahead and take a look at something else or another website that we can go ahead and see what you know type of it is so right now this let's go ahead and take a look at this one so this is a simulator type of website over here you can see you have form union starts a war you can toggle different countries as well and i don't know if this is functional or not all right so right now it's not functional because you know it's down i would seem so but you know it is what it is well let's go ahead and create our own website so to create our own website we just simply as i said before just type in our prompts right here so let's say we want our website uh, to revolve around a certain niche so we'll just type in the name of that niche so we'll just say let's go ahead and type in movies tv shows and stuff like that or you know shows and if we just simply add you know hit the enter button maybe it'll generate something of course you're gonna have of course you have to input more prompt uh, you can even input a url of a existing website so that you know it works as well let's go ahead and take a look so right now this is how it created it uh very simple of course you know this is how it is over here you're gonna have your movie one and over here is going to play it if you click on the next button it will switch over to movie two movie three movie four and stuff like that so if you want to have more details in it you're gonna need to input more prompts so, so keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the newer ones. Uh, and you can also, of course, create individual pages of your website as well. So let's go ahead and maybe create a AI image generator. Hit enter and see what it pops up. And of course, this will generate your website or your page right in front of you. So right now it's generating. So there we go. It has generated it. And all I would have to do is input a description of an image and click on the generate button. And that's it. Very simple. Uh, but yeah, let's see if this actually works. Let's go ahead and click on Apple. Uh, of course, it fails to generate because, you know, we haven't, you know, implemented the settings or, you know, connected a real AI tool to it. So of course, it's not going to work. And of course, you can go ahead and add the custom IP in the option section. So maybe that could also work. Like, for example, if we switch over to, you know, month and we come over here, we can see we have all these different websites that people have created, like this one right here called Dreamverse. It is a 3D immersive 3D reality or virtual reality type of game or maybe simulator. I'm not sure uh, if we come over here. Uh, we just simply click on this 3d button it loads up the 3d model and we can check it out now of course the person who actually created this you know they had to do a, a lot of uh, i would say coding or stuff like that and first let's go back to home and as i said before you have to input a bunch of different prompts and once you've added them it will work so if i just simply come over here and type you know all right so this is the website that i created i basically told it to create a 
portfolio type of website, you know, showcasing different video editing tools and processes. So over here, you can see it did just that, although there's no header section, but that's so fine because this is a portfolio. You don't need to have that, but I would say that, you know, they should add it, but yeah, let's go back. And of course, if we click on this random button right here, it will open up or create us a random website. So right here, you can see uh, this is the random website. You have user input. We have router agent executor, but yeah, maybe change this. I don't really like this one. See something. So right here is the movie script maker. Okay, so this is much better. So right here, you can add the movie name, movie genre, uh, number of chapters, synopsis, and list of characters, one per line. And then you can just simply go ahead and click on generate to generate a script. So of course, this is a, you know, this is not a fully functioning tool. This is like an experimental tool. Uh, people come over here, you know, they experiment, they have fun, they have different ideas. They, you know, use that idea to create, uh, create like a figurehead and to see what it would look like if they actually created the website. And, you know, if they like it, they can go ahead and create an actual website using this idea, using this tool. So it is actually really, really fun. And I recommend that you guys check it out. So yeah, very simple to use. Nothing too crazy. Just add in the prompts that you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and try to create another website, right? We just simply come over here. Let's go ahead and change GPD 4.0. And over here, I would like to create so something along the lines of that. And then let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and see what it does. And okay, so this is what it gives us. Nothing too crazy. It's just a simple FAQ. What is the best store? But yeah, let's go ahead and ask it to create a website similar to another website like this one. Let's go ahead and say that. Go ahead and check it out. See what it gives us. And this is what it gives us. So, okay, so this one looks much better. Of course, there's not a whole lot of stuff going on. So over here, as you can see, it would take us quite some time to create you know, give it more accurate prompts and it will give you a more accurate website. Right now, as you can see, it did give us a homepage, you know, like a navigation bar, a uh, top hero section. So yeah, it does look pretty good. So keep this in mind. If you are going to be using WebSim AI, make sure that you give it more accurate prompts as that will give you a more better result. So having said that, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or come across any problem whatsoever, then let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to help you out in any way I can as soon as possible. And also, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on the bell notification as you'll get notifications every time we post a new video. Your support to the channel means a lot and also share this video with your friends and family members if they enjoy this type of content and would like to know how to make money online or just simply want to know how a particular software or website works. We post these types of videos daily, so you don't have to worry about running out of content. You will get new content every single day, so don't worry about it. So having said that, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video, and until next time, take care and goodbye.